Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this amazing video, I am Aditya. In this video, we will see how we can use Tailwind CSS, which is an amazing CSS framework with React Native, yes, you heard it right, React Native, to create a mobile app. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so here, uh, I have created a simple application in Expo, like simple application. It's just like uh, showing a text and when you press a button it just says a message that's it nothing else <laughs> and also i have created it using expo and in, in this project we'll be using react native tailwind classes now even if you have created a project with plain react native like without expo you can still use this library because this library is for react native it doesn't matter whether you, you create app using expo or react native it's one like you can use it straight away so Okay, so to begin with, we need to install the library. So I'll give the link in the description for this library. Uh, do check that link. And then once you visit this, then you can go all over here and here you'll see the website link. So I'll also give this link in the description. So in that, you will see the steps for installing it. So first thing, we'll click on quick start and get, under get started, we'll go in quick started. And first we will install their library so this is the library tailwind css react native so let's do that uh, here i'll stop the expo server for now and here i'm going to say npm i there are some errors we'll see that there i think i'm pretty much sure there are some small errors so npm i and this so once you hit enter it will install the library so i have already installed and configured it i'll tell you how to configure it so once this is installed you need to run this command npx tailwind css init so it's the same command that we use to init or create the tailwind config.js or ts so once that command is uh, run you will get a file which will be something like this before like would be something like this inside this you need to add these three lines now this three lines or whatever number of lines it depends upon your project structure for instance if you see over here here uh, they are pointing to src folder and inside src folder all the files so if you have that src folder then you need to point accordingly but if you don't have that src folders and if you have a structure like this let's say i have a screens folder where i will have all the screens then the components folder where i will have all the components then in that case i just need to give the path of that folders and use this wildcard so that all the files in that folders like there suppose in components you might have another folder inside that you have another file so it would be like a nested tree so all that nested tree everything inside that components folder will be watched for tailwind css so for that reason we need to give the correct path so make sure that you are giving the correct path now i'll give you an example of how i gave for screens so it's the same for four components so the tailwind.config.js inside is inside a root folder and also the screens is inside the root folder so i'm just giving one dot forward slash screens so going in this and then two star then forward slash star and then this dot jsx ts tsx ts jsx this means that inside the screens folders all the files whether they are nested whether they are not all those files whosoever has extension js jsx ts or tsx just watch those files that's what this like like means now once that's done next thing we need to do is inside babel config.js so if you don't have this file create this file but if you have it that's great inside that you need to put this line which is plugins tailwind css react native forward slash babel now this line is given inside the documentation over here so make sure that you're putting the line correctly over here now next thing is this tailwind css library or sorry not tailwind css library but this library which uses tailwind css it needs a provider and then with the help of that you know, like this provider will allow us to write tailwind css classes exactly like how you write on a normal react web app using class name so we don't need to use style we can straight away use class name i'll tell you how to do that as well so first is it now this provider needs to be your root component because i assume or most principally uh, you will be using tailwind css for 
uh, entire of your project if you're using it or most of your component so it's best to make sure that this tailwind provider is added as a root so in my app.js as this is my root component and I'm, I'm gonna wrap so even if i have let's say react native navigation or those uh, navigation components and all those things even though all that will come inside this tailwind provider because as long as you have component inside the tailwind provider their nested components their children and all their components will be able to use this class name and then tailwind css classes so to we, we need to make sure that okay we have the tailwind provider at the root and that's it like then we can straight away use the tailwind css classes now let me show you what i have here i have safe area view so i can use flex one and the interesting thing guys is that i tried some tailwind css3 classes and they work so i believe that this library is behind the scene is using tailwind css3 and it's so amazing like i'll show you the demo on the phone how it looks like but it's so amazing that i'm feeling more comfortable using this library compared to style sheet because of course who don't like tailwind css so uh let's try now to see like check if this thing works for components so i'm gonna take this from here and inside components i'm gonna create custom button dot jsx and inside this rnf there we go and here we can put the button component or our button over here and what i'm gonna do is i'll give some like this over here Okay, just to make sure that our pressable or on press event can come on this pressable that's why I'm just passing others over here and what now I need to do is here I could say custom button and then we can copy this text from here or uh, I could say here this is a tailwind react native app and here I could say on press and then save okay let's see if this works so what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect my phone uh, to the screen i'm going to screen share it it will take a bit of time so i'll skip that part of video and get back to it once it works okay so let's start the command over here and then over here so this will start the expo local server so and i'm using expo client on my mobile so i can scan the qr code from here and just test the app so now what i'm going to do is i'll just reload this app and see what happens when we reload this so it will take a bit of time and it's saying can't find pressable oh sorry i didn't import pressable there so let's import pressable here and that's it like this view is not needed so if we go back again over here and there we go so you will see like it still works on like for the nested components for everything because we did the configuration correctly now if i say okay perfect it works great now there are some drawbacks like no they're not exactly drawback it's very normal because uh you will see on this app over here i have this linear gradient now by default react native doesn't provide like a linear gradient on your div or sorry view or some inbuilt uh components you need to use extra library like linear gradient in this case i'm using expo, expo linear gradient which is just a wrapper around react native linear gradient uh, then here i'm just importing that component and passing the color stops where i want the linear gradient however on this component i can use tailwind css classes so because of that like i can have uh, that flex one and all justify center which brings this button in the center so those tailwind css classes are there but just the background gradient is not there so for that i need to use linear gradient the another thing to consider is if I go to the documentation you'll see the documentation they have given like really good documentation by the way uh, they have given here for display what classes you can use what you cannot use so we can use flex or uh, display none but we cannot use anything apart from this like we cannot use grid we cannot use a block in block inline block and all those things so overall it's i would say it's it's a great library that's all in this video hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button if you feel this video is worth sharing with your network please do share with your network and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so see you in the next video till the next time goodbye